what is it about a wooden spoon <laughs> that brings back so many memories? And I'm sure wooden spoons weren't only used by Italian women, but for some reason it just seems so Italian, the wooden spoon. I can think of so many memories, usually having to do with tomato sauce, but I don't think they could have survived without a wooden spoon. And if you remember, now my parents never hit me. You know, we never got hit, per se. My mother, my mother would kind of give me a love tap in the back of the leg with a wooden spoon or a hairbrush if I really did something wrong. I was pretty much a perfect child, so it didn't usually happen to me. <laughs> but the wooden spoon was like a kitchen utensil and an attitude adjustment tool. So I wanted to just bring back that memory and throw it out to you kids. The wooden spoon. Think about all the memories that have to do with that item. And that was something that we used, that was used every day. I think, and we still have, you know, we still have in our drawer wooden spoons that have to be, I can't even imagine how old they are. Wouldn't be surprised if they're 100 years old. Probably are. Never broke, split, nothing. As usable today as they were when they were made, whenever the heck that was. So, in fact, remember the, uh, <laughs> remember Everybody Loves Raymond and the uh, episode where they had the big spoon and the big fork in Marie and Frank's house? Oh, too funny. Anyway, please comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the wooden spoon growing up, all those memories that come flooding back when it comes to that one item. I'm looking forward to reading them. By the way, I read every comment. I comment, I mean, I answer as many as I can, but we're getting hundreds and hundreds and I love it. I, I now seem to know so many of our friends around the world by name and sometimes location where they come from. So, Please keep it up. It's really a great thing. Wish you lots of hugging and kissing and all good things for you and your family. Keep smiling. We love you. And always remember, all over the world, everybody loves Italian. Bye-bye.